Hey guys, this is Nick Medellinos here for XL Sports. Now, we know the NBA players have a tough schedule playing 82 games a season, but spare a thought for some of these girls that you see behind me over here, especially the Australian girls. Now, we're going to focus on them today. A lot of these girls have to play year round and during an Olympic year, it takes a toll on their body, especially if they have to fly back to Australia for training camp for the Olympics. Now, I caught up with some of the girls to get their thoughts and see how travel like that does affect them, how, what kind of a toll it takes on their body. Check it out and see what they had to say. Well, obviously the physical aspect's um, pretty demanding, I think. Um, for me, being in Europe uh, all those years, you're expected to produce your um, sort of 40 minutes a game, that style of play. And here in America, it's, it's another level of physicality and athleticism, and it definitely takes its toll. Um, mentally, I think, you know, you, you deal with it because it's what we love to do, and um, it's definitely um, the height of your career to be able to play in the WNBA. And, uh, I, I think you do miss a lot of time with family, you miss a lot of those special events and things like that, but you know, you take the good with the bad, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything, um, and I've been able to have such great success with Phoenix um, and starting with Cleveland. Yeah, physically it's definitely a demand. Um, for instance, uh, this WBA season I missed the first game because I was still playing in Europe. Um, so physically that's a grind, you know, there's no time to rest injuries or rehab, you know. Um, but mentally for me is what's been the biggest thing. Um, you go from one team where they have certain schemes and offense and defense and you come right here and there's different ones that you have to constantly be, you know, aware of. Um, so for me the mental side of things is a lot harder. Um, um, being ready day in and day out for practice for games and not getting that break. Um, but you know I'd prefer to be doing this than a 9 to 5 job, so I'm not complaining. Well, um, I did it for 10 years and you know, ask me now, I'll have a few injuries. But look, you just love the game and you want to keep playing at the highest level and, and playing basketball, but it does take a physical toll. I mean, you obviously the, the more years you do it in a row, the uh, the tighter you get, and you usually hit the wall during one kind of a season. But you know, you love this game. It's what we, you know, it's a passion. It's not just a job for us. And um, you know, it's it's all about keep getting better, but taking the rest when you can. You know, it's, and I've had and knee reconstruction, three knee scopes, ankle scope. Um, you know, so I've been really lucky though to, as an Australian, be, you know, tutored through how to kind of maintain your body at the Institute of Sport. We were, you know, taught how to look after yourself, how to eat right. Um, so all those little things have helped to get me through, um, you know, European seasons, especially where you know, necessarily the medical hasn't been as, as good as we've had in Australia. Um, so, but just being like, um, you know, just being like diligent on doing the small things to make sure that you know, you're on top of those little injuries and things like that. Uh, I've got a pretty strict program for my um, strength work. Um, so I, I stick pretty uh, tightly to that and that really helps me. It keeps me feeling great it's it's gone away from that sort of heavy lifting that we used to do and more in just the um, more refined like uh, concentrating on the muscles you need to work on and, and so that really helps me out my diet's obviously a huge part of it for me and making sure that um, I'm eating the right things and, and that's really been a big um, the last couple of years huge for me Yeah, for sure. You know, I wish. Um, you know, it's it's funny how the system works with basketball. Um, if you once you get in the WBA or once you get in Europe, uh, you got to keep trying to get your next contract. And if you take breaks between those seasons or you, you miss out, you just say I'm going to rest a season. Your salary and where you were, you, you actually fall back a bit, and you've got to start building up your. Um, your network, I guess, again. So that's why you know a lot of players just keep playing and keep playing until their bodies just really can't take it anymore. But yeah, I definitely, um, I definitely wonder how I'm going to be feeling come 40 years old. Whether I'm going to be, uh, I'll probably be running too much. But um, yeah, the knees, the knees definitely. At, at 31, I'm, so, I'm already starting to feel that.
Yeah. It's really, it's um, you know, it's hard to get out of bed right now. Yeah. You know, my knees are sore and I'm only 29. So when I'm, you know, 40 and 50 with kids, that I think it will be a struggle. But uh, right now I'm taking it one day at a time and just trying to get through each practice and get through each game.